Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Mover, and it's time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing the new Ghost in the Shell movie. Well, this movie is currently a hot topic on YouTube, so why the hell not talk about it? Now I'm gonna start this review by saying that I have never seen the animated Ghost in the Shell movie, so I'm judging this movie on its own merits. I am interested in seeing the animated movie for sure since Chris Stockman has said that it's a fucking awesome movie. But as of now I haven't seen it so I can't make any fucking comparisons. Anyway, Ghost in the Shell is basically about a half human and a half robot. Does that sound familiar? That's because it's been overdone to death. Now don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with that concept being overdone to death if it's done right. And even though this movie is about a cyborg, that's about the only thing about the movie that I would say is cliche or unoriginal. For the most part, this movie is fucking different. Now I got a lot to say about the world that this movie takes place in. But before I talk about that, I'm gonna talk about the characters. First, I'm gonna talk about Major Mira Killian, played by Scarlett Johansson. Now I will say that she is a good character and I did like her a lot. However, there is a big issue that I have with her that I have to point out. This movie's message is the fact that humanity is more important than machinery. Well, that's all good and everything, but I have no fucking humanity in that woman. No, not all. I mean, all she did throughout the movie was to kick a lot of ass. Granted, I think that's beyond fucking awesome and I was rooting for her throughout the movie because of that. But it doesn't change the fact that I have no humanity in her. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that I didn't see any personality in her at all. Because this movie does do a good job explaining who that character is and it makes me care about her. But being an interesting character doesn't necessarily make her a human. She's supposed to be in a robotic body and have a mind of a human. And I'm sorry, but I don't buy it at all. But the good thing I can say about her is the fact that she kicks a lot of ass. And that's what makes her so fucking awesome. And that's the reason why I was rooting for her the entire time. But to be honest though, she's the only great character of the movie. The next character that I want to talk about is... Daisyuk Aramaki, played by Tekisai Kitano. Now he's basically Major's boss and he gives her a lot of orders. Now he is a good boss, I will admit that. But there's one thing about him that's troubling me a lot. And that's the fact that he's literally the only character of the entire fucking movie that speaks Japanese. The rest of the characters speak English and that makes absolutely no sense to me. Look, I get it, this movie is based on a Japanese property, but it still makes no damn sense that he's the only character of the movie that speaks Japanese. If everyone else in the movie is speaking English, then why the hell isn't he speaking fucking English as well? It just baffles me. Another thing about it that makes absolutely no sense is that everybody fucking understood what the hell he was saying. Besides that, there isn't anything else I can say about this guy since he's very forgettable. Speaking of forgettable, the next character that I want to talk about is Barto, played by... Pillow A something. Yeah, his sacred name has a fucking accent. I can't pronounce that. Now, he's an extremely important character. In fact, he's the most important character of the movie besides the protagonist. He's a very good friend of Major and helps her out a lot. With that being said, I remember nothing about him. And that's really a problem considering how fucking important of a character he is. So yeah, overall, the characters of the movie are very forgettable. But now it's time to talk about the universe this movie takes place in. Now this movie does claim to take place in the future, but I call bullshit on that. I think that this movie takes place in an alternative universe, and it's a very complex universe, and that's what makes this universe so fucking interesting. Yeah, the best part about this movie, besides the protagonist, is the fucking universe of the movie. The city looks so fucking beautiful. And there are many aspects of this universe that's hard to understand. And that's what makes it very fucking interesting. 
And because of how great the universe of this movie is, this could easily be a fucking awesome movie. But it's not because of how fucking forgettable most of the characters are. Another praise I can give this movie is the fact that the action sequences are beyond fucking awesome. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. I expected nothing but was still disappointed. I didn't expect anything great, I didn't expect anything awful, I was expecting literally nothing. And what I got was a movie that's just okay. And for that I'm going to give this movie the rating decent. One more thing before I end this video. Is the original animated movie really as fucking awesome as Chris Duckman says it is? If so, I might wanna fucking check it out. Well guys, you've reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching, have a great day.